What's going on people of YouTube? Uh, if you guys seen my recent A4 video, that, that loaner car that I got, you remember this spot. Uh, however, this time I'm not actually reviewing another loaner car because my car is in the shop or whatever. This time I'm actually reviewing my own car because I've never done that. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to that. So it's pretty much a 2011 S4, it's, a, it's the B8 series, uh, and the B8 series is pretty much from I believe 2009 and went up to 2012 and then they did a face uh, lift for the B8 series. And uh, so this car is the premium plus edition and uh, so it, it's kind of basic in the sense that it does not have the uh, Audi driver select or uh, the sports differential or anything like that but actually it just doesn't have any of that good stuff from the uh, better trims trim levels I suppose so I'll go a little over what I have on the car uh, that I've done the modifications to so if First of all, let's start with like the front grill, which uh, has the RS4 grill, and it's not the stock, uh, you know, S4 grill uh, that the car usually comes with, which is kind of bland and boring, if you ask me. I also did upgrade the wheels and the tires, so that the wheels are running the, these 19-inch VMR V710s, and they're uh, made with this uh, Michelin Pilot Super Sport. So two more things that I've done to the car are uh, the exhaust right here, which is the AWE tuning exhaust, quad tip exhaust, uh, the track edition. I also have a, the very first video actually that I posted on YouTube was about the exhaust. So if you guys haven't checked that out, I'll put an annotation up, up on the screen so you guys can go and look at that. This car is also supercharged. As you can see with the badge, the car is supercharged, so it produces about 333 horsepower at the crank, I believe, and 329 uh, pound-foot of torque. So as you can see, uh, yes, the engine bay is kind of dirty uh, from the recent serpentine blow-up. Um, but the thing why I wanted to show you guys is the intake that I have put over here. So this is just a short ram air intake that's made by engine. So that's just a short ram air intake that's made by engine. And, uh, you know, we all know that really those things don't really add any horsepower or anything to the car. However, it does make the supercharger whine a little bit more audible. That's, that's all you need from those kind of things. I'm finally back inside the car because, you know, as usual, it's 96 degrees outside. Um, it's not as hot as Arizona can get, but it's still pretty hot. But this is supposed to be the cooler, one of the cooler days that we're about to have uh, towards the end of the summer. Anyway, so I'm inside the car and uh, the main thing I wanted when I was buying this car is not to have leather seats. Uh, Again, being in Arizona, uh, where you know this place is kind of a land of extremes, where you have extreme heat and extreme cold, and in either cases, the seat, the leather seat, uh, is just either frozen or like burning hot. When it's frozen, at least you can turn the seat heater on, but when it's hot, you can't do anything about it because you know 
there are, these don't have ventilated seats. So that's pretty much the car on the outside and on the inside. Um, but anyways, that's enough of the boring stuff. Let's get to the driving part. Actually, before I start driving, I'll give you a sound clip of what the exhaust sounds like from the outside, all right? So let's go to that one. So for people who own an S4 and don't know if they have a launch control in their car or not, well I like to tell you that there is a launch control in this car and Audi doesn't actually advertise it. Uh, so there's no, you know, um, no specific, you won't find it on the manual, you won't see any buttons on the car obviously, <laughs> you would have seen it if you, there was one, uh, saying that there is a launch control. But however, in order to put, put the launch car into launch control, it's extremely simple. All you have to do is put the car in sport mode, and then you essentially turn off the stabilization control, ESC basically, and that's, let me get to the straight way. Again, we're in the road, uh, our favorite road. So, essentially all it is, is once you do, all, do those two things, which is put it in sport and take off stabilization control, you come to a stop, left foot on the brakes, Hard foot right on the accelerator, holds at 3000 RPM, and it just launches. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. And until next time, see you then.